What's up everybody from YouTube? I'm um, Francis Belfe. I'm um, just starting a new channel. Um, basically I'm do-it-yourself things. Uh, I'm that kind of guy that always wants to do everything by himself to get it cheap and get it done quicker. And I'm really into photography so that's why uh, most of the things will be about it. And for this first episode we'll start with the processing of uh, color film uh, which I never did before. So it's going to be the first time I'm going to do it. So maybe I'll mess up. I don't know. I'll try it out. I just received this uh, C41 press kit. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try that out. Uh, I'm trying to. I'll try to go step by step, but with you guys, and uh, maybe it'll help you out if you want to do it yourself. Um, I wanted to do this because uh, I started processing uh, my black and white films because uh, basically films is kind of hard to get de developed nowadays and it costs a lot of money so I, I just found that maybe it'll cost less if I do it myself which basically cost me like I don't know like maybe three dollars a roll to develop maybe less uh, and it's fun to do too because uh, you basically start from the taking a picture not seeing them processing them yourself and then you know printing them or you know scan them yourself so the the process is really longer uh, from it's, it's longer than uh, digital because digital you just shoot and you look back at your LCD and you know that's it and you tack 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 click 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 and when you shoot film uh, you really have to think about it and frame your thing be sure about it go about it mm, no just not the one then you keep going so I like this way to shoot so that's why I, I'm using film uh, a lot of the time. Uh, I'm using digital too. I'm not a digital hater. Anyways, so uh, yeah, we'll start first with the C41 process uh, from uh, Tetanol. Uh, I got it from B&H. So I'm going to try it out. I mixed the chemicals uh, and right about now I'm just going to put my film into the, the little bucket so I can start developing and uh, you guys will follow me on that. So I hope it comes out good and we'll start from now. Okay, so first up, we need our chemicals. So we got the developer, C41 developer, the Blix here, and the stabilizer. So it's really important right there to, to have the, the temperature of the chemicals at uh, 39 degrees Celsius. And I'm talking like that because I'm from Canada. And that's how it measures. Really important, almost forgot to wear the gloves. So here I go. So I'm just looking at the temperature and it looks pretty right. So um, I think we'll be good to go since uh, they're both in the same place uh, in the hot water. So as you see, I, I use this little thing to put some hot water, keep temperature regular. And also I have this right there. This is uh, for the pre-soak. Actually, I'll go. Uh, the pre-soak is the first step. So I'm just making sure the chemicals are at the right temperature. So I go there, watch this, and watch this. This is actually for the pre-soak. Just looking if the temperature is good. And it's a pretty much about the same, so I'll be good. Now, here I go. So I'll be good. So I'll go for the pre-soak. And I actually forgot my sheet um, for the, the timing because, uh, you know, I am not that used to it. So I'll just get it and we'll, back, we'll be back to it. Okay, so we're back and um, I have my tank here. So I'm just, I verified the temperature, just gonna verify it once more. And it's perfect. So I'll go for the pre soak. So it goes, it says here for one minute. So I'll just set my timer right there. 
and had it a little buzz so I can hear it. So I'll start this pre-soak in here. You don't really need to agitate it, but I want to do it. But you know, keep that water. Add that. And then just agitate it for a little bit. This is just so it gets wet and up to the temperature. Make everything work out. So I'm just going to wait for that minute. And then after that, that will be the, the stressful kind of part. So the next step, I'll just look into it. It's 3.30. So every time I'll do a mix or something, I can put it back in the bottle because I can reuse it. So I have everything there just marked up so I don't mix things. So here I go. This is ready, so I'm just gonna set it to three and 30. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I don't wanna, I'll keep this and if, See. You don't really see it, there's kind of some color. And I just thought of it, since I'm going to pull it down in here, um, I'll just set it to like 10 seconds for the time that it's going in. So, once again, just to be sure, look at my temperature. This is pretty good, actually. It's like one degree over, so it's not gonna mess anything up. Wash this. So that's when it starts. So 3.30. So I'm just gonna mix it. And it says, continues for the first 10 seconds, then four lifts or inversion cycle every 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna drop that in there. Until it's kind of full. And it looks like it, so I'm gonna start. Keep that in there. What's flowing actually, so I'll keep it there. So just gonna agitate. And then after every 30 seconds. So I'm just keeping it in there just so it, it keeps the temperature steady. And I'm holding it a little higher because I don't want any water going in there. Close to the 30 seconds. So here we go. One, two, three, and then four. And then go put it back here. Just waiting. Getting close to another 30 seconds. One, two, three, and then four. I'm just gonna put that in there so I can put it back. And we're getting there. One, two, three, and then four.
again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then five seconds before, I'm just going to drop it in. So here I go, dropping it back, and then after. I'm just gonna give it a little wash so there is there isn't any de uh, developer that goes into my Blix so here I go they don't say to do that but I want to do it because I want to keep my chemicals clean for a while so here they go developer just give it a little shake I can close that. This is good. So now we'll go for the Blix. I'll just check for the temperature. While I put this in there. Well, actually I'm gonna put this to 630 in there. Temperature is good. Just putting that in there, the waste. And then here I'll go for the Blix. And it says uh, 630 for inversion every 30 seconds. So here I go for the Blix. So 10 seconds. Keep it there. Just gonna put that here. I'm just gonna wait till 30 seconds. So basically after this step, uh, the film will be able to see the light because it'll be fixed because the Blix is the bleach and the fix. So, and after it, I'll just have to wash it. Then I'll go here for inversions. And then I'm just going to let the air out because it creates some sort of gas. There we go. And actually, I just remember I forgot to put on a mask just as a safety thing. But uh, you should really consider using a mask because there's fumes coming out of that. But um, I've started, so I basically can't really leave it like that. Here I go. And uh, you should know, actually, I'm uh, trying to follow the thing here, but uh, 
I guess people that knows me can tell you that uh, I'm really of a approximately guy. I follow a little bit, but sometimes I get out of it, do it my own way. Not that I'm lazy, it's just that that's the way I do it. <laughs> but we'll see if that pays after. And I hate this tank because it's kind of leaky and liquid, as you can see there. I should consider buying a new one because I'm basically losing some chemicals there. It's not a lot, but you know. So here I go for the other one. And I'm actually, I can't wait to see if it works. Cause after that one, I can, I can wash it and I can, you know, see if there's images in there which I can't wait to see I hope this works this is, like I told you before you guys are witnessing the my first attempt to it the C41 at home actually all the time I, people would tell me like this is really hard to do this is nothing you can do at home and then one day I just decided fuck it man I just gonna go see on YouTube as I usually do see if it's possible and then I just saw that it was so I was kinda stoked cause uh, uh, maybe I, some of you guys had the same thing I had like 30 rolls of color film uh, 120 and 35 in my uh, freezer didn't use them cause I didn't really want to pay each time to get them processed so now it's kind of cool because it gives me a whole lot more films and uh, one thing that's interesting is that there is no different times whether whether you use like 200 ISO or uh, 400 anything it's always the same time so there's no confusion and I I heard you could push your film up or pull your film um, that's something that definitely I want to try someday but right now let's just try to get this thing done first so now we're at the end and it's gonna buzz so now I can put it back in there and right about now basically the the temperature is not really important because the stabilizer and everything is room temperature so you don't have to worry about the water temperature anymore I'm just going to squeeze the more I can back in because I can reuse it like a it's not like black and white films that basically you use let's say a D76 you use the developer and then uh, you just have to throw it out so this is more kind of eco-friendly in a way and this is good for your pocket <laughs> so right now yeah I got a little more let's put that in there come on drop okay so whatever um, here I go I can basically put that in there so the Blix is back in and if you see I've put um, the first letter on so I do not mix the, the caps for the bottle so there's no blicks in the developer because uh, it says that it's really bad so right now I'm just gonna go for a wash actually I won't let the water flow because I wanna preserve this beautiful earth that we have I'm just gonna put it in give it a few that is that thing still recording yes it does I'm gonna drop it now uh, I'll do this like four times make sure it's clean so more once again room temperature no worries. Here 
here. All right. Here I go, give it a few rotations. Sorry about the setup. I don't know if you've seen everything well, but uh, this is the first one, so for the next one, I'll work on uh, making it look better. But this is kind of for uh, instructional purposes, so that's not that bad, but uh, yeah, whatever. We'll work on that. I'm dropping it in this bucket. Some more. I can pull my hand in there. So I'm seeing that the the battery on my second camera died. The battery on the first one is dying. So I think from soon enough, he'll be the GoPro only. So we'll go on from that anyways, even though the batteries from the GoPro sucks. But you'll maybe witness a change in the sound quality because the GoPro sound sucks too. But anyway, we'll work it out. The last one here, before I open it, I could have opened it before, it's just the, it's the suspense. And then after we'll go to the stabilizer. I heard you could put a uh, photo flow in the stabilizer. Uh, Cause you don't want to. After you put the stabilizer in, you don't want to uh, to wash the film after, cause uh, it'll basically take it off. So I read on the internet that you could basically put a little bit of photo flow in your stabilizer, and then that'll do the trick if you don't want no stains. But you know, this is the first one. I don't want to mess it up. But on the next one, I'll try for sure. And I could put it in the comments below or in the description if it works well. So right now this is uh, the decisive moment basically. I'm just going to put my glove off so I can manipulate good enough. So it looks like there's some images but is there any? There is some images. You can't really see it, I think. But there is some images. It's working. And uh, I am pretty stoked, actually, that it worked out. The whole roll is... Looks pretty good. I'm really stoked right now. Look, yo. Focus on there camera yeah I'm really fucking stoked because that means I can use all my color films and basically it gives me a lot more films so this works really good and uh, I'm just gonna put it back in the reel trying to not put shit on there I'm really stoked I can't say it more. like I'm really stoked so here I go, putting it back in the reel so I can put it in the stabilizer. Damn, that worked. Actually, it's me it's meant to work. I don't know why I'm surprised, but it's just that I did all the steps properly. So I'm really stoked. I still love uh, I still love black and white films better though, but. You know, it's interesting using different films and stuff. You know, I'm really stoked. Can't wait to scan them. Now it's the, the not so cool time. 
Well, I, actually, I have to put the stabilizer, but it would be the not so cool time to wait until it dries. Sorry for the blur damage, 70D. It's really good, but I have to be in the square focus. Um, yeah, I'm really stoked. I'll have to wait, but uh, damn. But uh, uh, if you want to see the results, I'll definitely post them on my uh, website. Well, actually, kind of a uh, blog thing. They'll be there. It's fbmontreal.com. So you can go there and watch it. There'll be a link right next to my face somewhere in there. So just go see it and see what, what it did. And this is actually, this was expired film. So don't be surprised if the colors are washed out or not accurate. This is expired film. So it won't be that accurate. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So I'll just go in there and put the stabilizer for it says 30 seconds to a minute and then I'll just go approximately so here we go the stabilizer here as you can see or as you can see here it's all marked so like I said so I don't mix up things I'm just gonna agitate it a little bit square here and wait for a little while because you know it's not nothing stressing and while I'm here I'm gonna show you how I hang my films I made them myself it's pretty easy to use and it's well actually since I have this IKEA thing I just took a thing for like these and put a whatever it's called sorry sometimes I'll miss some words because you know I'm originally French speaking so there's some words I don't know but you can see how it is made it's like this is like a trombone go on google translate and find what it is this thing that you could put like just there and actually i'll need two because i have to to cut my film because it's too long so here i'll have two this is a 36 exposure so this is really a long ass fucking film I'm just gonna put this back in because you can reuse it so I just witnessed that the other camera is off because this is recording has been stopped automatically whatever Actually, if I press stop and then go back, maybe you'll... Yeah, we're back at it. So it's a new video. Yeah. So here, I've put it back in. Take that. Take that, take that. So this is a stabilizer. I forgot to put the letter on. So, stab. Stab. Okay. So... Now, we'll have to cut it, so I hope I have some scissors, no, they're in the back, follow me, go get the scissors, here, I need the, them to load, and then we're back in there, because we'll need it to cut, actually I can change this angle so you can see and put this back a little bit well actually that will do it can i change it yes okay so you'll be able to see the two angles 
Yeah. Uh, so here I go. I am gonna put that here, fix it there, and I'm gonna cut it. Hopefully, not cut my film, my picture, I mean, the image that's on there. I hate doing that. I need some more light so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I can see it now. I go there trying not to cut the picture and then hold it there Fuck. like this and then put this on the second one actually I'm gonna put it like that so this is hanging really close to the ground but not the ground but the, the, the sink so here we go this is gonna dry can't wait to see what's on there actually i know what i shot but this is film so you know uh i don't remember everything i shot and this is the the fun part about it so i'm just gonna let it dry and uh while it's drying i'll go edit that little video and no actually i need to clean because uh I don't think my girlfriend would be that happy to see it, see the kitchen like this. So I'll just go and clean, and um, you know, uh, by the time this uh, this video is on YouTube, uh, the pictures will be on on uh, my uh, photo blog fbmontreal.com. Uh, there won't be like the whole roll. I I just put the the, the ones I like the most. But just as uh, just so you know. Uh, Everything on there that's film, it's uh, processed by me, scanned by me, so you, you have an idea of what uh, it gives at the end, and uh, surely there's some digital work too. This is basically my, my uh, little thing that I like post, posting picture on there. And this is a Tumblr, so if you have a Tumblr, you can go and follow me there, see uh, what I post regularly, you see pictures I do. And you know, that's it. And uh, I'll see you on the uh, next, uh, let's call it episode, whatever. I don't know what it's going to be about. Maybe it'll be a black and white film. It's basically the same thing, but to me that's easier because there's no temperature looking stress or anything. Look, this is really close. Huh. How close is it? A 40 can focus at... Um, yeah. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, this is basically it. Um, I don't know what... Uh, the next episode will be about. Uh, I'll see. You can see my GoPro strap on my chest. So yeah, I'll see you on the next episode of I don't know what's going to be called again. I don't know what's the name of the channel yet. I didn't decide. So see you later. <laughs>